The fog's gotten awfully thick. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Fog like this is usually a sign something bad's about to happen. N knock it off! Talk like that long enough and something bad will happen. Hey, front! I mean bow! Hmm. We're going to hit them. What is that? That's an old ship. I've never seen that type before. I think it says... The Atherum. It's weird. There's no sign of people. It... it's like... it's calling to us. No way! Come on! Get the fear tier going! Hmm... no can do. I don't know why, but the Sarah's Blastia ain't responding at all. What do you mean? You think this thing's the problem? Ooh, maybe it's a cursed ghost ship. Y you don't really think so, do you? Why don't we go take a look? It'll be fun. I love this sort of thing. What? Well, we don't know what's wrong with the Blastia. We gotta go take a look. Are you planning on just leaving the Fiertia like this? All right, why don't four of us go investigate while the rest stay here and keep watch? That should be fine. Okay, so repeat and I'll go. <clears throat> and who's the third person? I'm not going, no way! Yuri, why don't you decide? Gotcha. We need to think about balance when splitting the party. Understand? This ship could also be attacked by monsters at any time. Me? I'll do my best. to go. Do you mind? Ooh, it was so exciting. You want Raven the Great to come along? Huh? Don't split us up any more than this now. You be careful. We'll set off a smoke signal as soon as the Ceres Blastia is fixed. Thanks. Do you think the others are all right? You should probably worry a little more about how we're doing. There's no telling what might happen on a boat this sketchy. You say that, but you sound like you're enjoying all this. Maybe that's why I don't feel all that scared myself. Oh man, this isn't gonna be half as fun if you're not properly terrified. Fun? Never mind.
There's something about this mirror. It almost gives you the feeling there's a room hidden on the other side of the glass. Okay, I hear you. Don't get sidetracked, right? All right, let's get serious and keep moving. I just heard a weird noise. Look at that! Ah! It's no good. It won't open. It looks like we have no choice but to keep moving. All right, let's keep moving then. There's no use sticking around here. Yep, let's go. I wonder if everyone we left behind is okay. Oh my, what happened? I can't believe the mast would suddenly collapse like that. We're fine, but... I hope Yuri and the others are okay. I'd be surprised if they came out of an impact like that without a few scratches. Those troublesome kids. You mind if I go and make sure they're still alive? Now hold on just a second. We'll protect the ship while you're gone. I'm sorry, but by ourselves, we wouldn't be much help in protecting the ship anyway. Hey, I ain't the guild anyway. I don't have to look after your ship if I don't wanna. Will we be okay with just the three of us? Hmm... That 
that's where I come in. Weren't you told to stay put? Not that I really care or anything. Those words are powerless to put out the blazing fire that burns in an adventurer's heart. So, basically you just want to explore the ship? Because the ship, it reeks of treasure. Uh, I don't smell anything. An adventurer's sense of smell is sharper than the teeth of a man-eating shark. Well, then you can come along. But if we find any treasure, we're splitting it up equally. 80, 20, and we've got a deal. Yes, I suppose we don't have a choice. Be sure to come back. I don't want to be adrift out here forever. It does feel a bit hopeless with just the two of us. <sighs> don't say things like that. Talk about something more fun. Oops, uh... Sorry. I'm pretty nervous, but I'd feel awful if anything happened to the others. We have to go save them! Uh, all right, let's do this! Hey, Lass. Why are you walking so far away from me? I don't want Yuri to get the wrong idea. What idea might that be? Yuri and I are madly in love. That's all well and good, but you're outside my defensive range. I won't fall for your tricks. I know you've fallen for my charms, old man. I can't even tell if you're jesting. I've got a sixth sense for men like you. Decided to come along for the ride too? And hey, why are you bringing along more people? We didn't exactly have a choice in the matter. I've come to see you, Yuri. 
Well, you certainly got guts, though that's nothing new. I've got more guts than a fish on the beach. I guarantee it. I know. If you didn't, you wouldn't have marched into that old geezer's mansion all by yourself. You mean Lego's palace? Is our ship going to be okay? Let's get out of here quickly! Ghosts are behind that, I'd wager. You gotta be kidding me! The ship's evil spirits are surely at the bottom of the ship, plotting to make us one of them. Don't make up stories like that! No way that's possible. We'll just have to look for another way out. Right on. Let's go. <sighs> Rita, are you okay? What do you mean? Of course I'm okay. That's why I'm gonna get out of here right now. Aw, oh, but we worked so hard to get here. We should take our time and soak in the atmosphere. We can't take our time here. I have the important mission of investigating the air situation. It's not like there's any other reason I'd want to leave here. <gasps> A strange face on the other side of the mirror. <laughs> I, no, it can't be. I feel kind of sorry for her. Come on, let's finish what we came to do. For Rita's sake. Yes, that might be best. better it is when we're all together? It's times like these that give you a sense for how important cooperation really is. N yeah, I guess. The runt said something smart for once. Not that we've done anything all that cooperative yet. That's all right. Just being together makes this place less frightening. I wonder if it's really that simple. Ah! It's a four-legged hell beast! Ah! Oops. My bad. Must have just been the pooch's shadow. Oh, you are so dead! I'm gonna kill you and leave you haunting the ship! Year 232 of Asul, 13th day of Blue Air. The Asul period and the month of Blue Air are from a time before the Empire. So, over a thousand years ago. That long? Adrift five and forty days. Food and water used up. Men succumbing to thirst and starvation. I cannot give in, though. I must see the clear Ciel crystal safely to Jormgen. This crystal holds the power to banish the monsters, and with it the town may yet be saved. I have stored the clear Ciel crystal in my red chest, a gift from my dear Yuafan. It won't be much longer until I am in her arms again, and then we will all be saved. But he wasn't able to return to his town. He passed away here. Come on, Estelle. It was more than a thousand years ago. So, this ship's been wandering the open seas for an awful long time. Sounds lonely. I've never heard of a town called Jormgen. 
If this record is really that old, there's no guarantee the town even exists anymore. Yeah, I guess that's true. What about that clear seal crystal? I've never heard of it. The power to banish monsters. Huh. I wonder if it's something similar to a barrier. Do you think it might be here somewhere? Let me see if I can find it. Hmm? Uh, could this be it? He's clutching something. It must have been very important to him. You think it's the clear CL crystal? Well, it matches up with what was written in that diary. Hey, old man, you go get it. Um, no thank you. What is it with kids today always blurting things out like that? Hmm? Still a scaredy cat at your age, old man? How are you any different, Patty? Aren't you a little old to be arguing with a child? Here you go. <laughs> Judith, darling, you've got nerves of steel. Do you think it might be cursed? Hey, this thing's stuck. M Mons! Huh? Ah! It appears to have the opposite effect. What are you talking about? It's drawing the monsters to us.
Come on, it's not like we have to settle the score with that monster, do we? Jeez, poor Raven's getting too old for this. Should we give it back to him? I think that's what he wants! I... I want to deliver the clear seal crystal to Yormgen for him. You what? Would it be possible to add that to the jobs being done by the guild? We can't, Estelle. As a rule, tiny guilds like ours don't take on a new job until they complete the one they're working on. Completing each job to the letter is the way new guilds have to build their reputation. Hmm? Is the guild going to be sent running here and there by another one of this girl's whims? Hey, you don't have to talk to her like that, you know. Rita, wait. Judith, I am sorry, but I want to help him deliver this to the one who was waiting for him. I don't think anyone waits for a thousand years. Yeah, I'd get sick of waiting after that long myself. I don't think that's what he's talking about. <sighs> I'll find them. Rita. You all have your hands full looking for Pharaoh and escorting Estelle, right? I'm free to do what I like. Well, I'll come along too, then. I don't mind going either. Hold it! You guys have your jobs to take care of. You know you're going to end up sticking with us anyway. So I don't see any problem with us helping you out a little on the side. Thank you. Ah, how I envy the vigor of youth. You've got such good friends. You must be so happy, Rita. I I'm not happy at all. Really? Huh? Notice something? Looks like there's smoke outside. That might be Tokunaga's smoke signal. I wonder if the Ceres Blasty is working again. Let's get back and check it out! Come to mention it, we won't be able to get back the way we came. We'll just have to see if we can't find a better way out. It looks like the case holding the clear CL crystal just won't open. I wish we could make sure it's actually in there considering the sort of place we found it in. Couldn't you just bust it open with your magic? No, I can't. Right. If we damaged the contents, we wouldn't be able to make the delivery. No, I mean I already tried blowing it up. This little box is tougher than it looks. I... I'm at a loss for words. Forget it, Estelle. There's not much you can say to that. Uh, anyway, I suppose it makes sense to put something so important in an unbreakable box. locked earlier? I guess we can go back through here. 
Hmm, the curse was broken, huh? Don't be ridiculous! Now let's go! Yes, ma'am. What was that skeleton monster? It wasn't the sort of thing we regularly encounter. It could be a creature possessed by spirits that wanders the Atherum. But that can't possibly be it. It's too unscientific. Do you sense anything amiss, Repeat? <laughs> What'd he say? I, um, I don't know. Looks like we need Yuri to interpret for us. Hey, Yuri! Hold on. There's no need to investigate this right now, is there? Hmm. Should we have finished it off when we had the chance? If we could just jump down from here, we'd reach the ship in no time. Here. Where did you get that? I thought something like this might happen, so I brought this from inside the ship. I think I'm gonna gag. All right, let's go back to the ship. Oh! Good grief. If the Ceres Blasty has been fixed, that means we can say sayonara to this hellhole. Sarah's Blastia has been fixed. So it seems. Oh, thank goodness. Of all the... Why do I always get sucked into these messes? If it was anybody other than me, you guys would have been left behind. Sorry about that. We'll never do it again, promise. I wonder what caused the Ceres Blastia to break down. It just started working again. I don't have the slightest clue why. You really think there's a curse then? Perhaps the captain wanted to pass the clear seal crystal on to someone and reached out to us. No way. Dead people can't want to do anything. Doors get stuck, the Ceres Blastia stops working. Sounds like a curse to me. The world's a big place. There are many things we humans don't understand. I said it can't happen, so it just can't. What are you hitting me for? So, how do you like it? Well, the boss here's seen better days. Hmm. What's the matter? We don't know why it broke down, but either way, it's barely holding together. If we keep using this old piece of junk Blastia, we're guaranteed a shipwreck in the middle of the sea. Wow, so she's sensible when it comes to ships. What? She is? W what are you all looking at? <sighs> fine, fine. As soon as we get to port, I'm getting you a new one. You don't have a problem with that, do you? Seriously, this is a crazy deal you're getting. Hey, are we going to Nordopolica or not? Let's get this thing out of here. Right. I'm looking forward to finally getting there as well. <laughs> 